when women um, take time out for work for familiar reasons is that then when they come back into the workplace naturally their kind of career trajectory or career opportunities have been um, mediated by the fact that they've taken time out of work and that's the same with men if they take a significant amount of time out of work your kind of career and earning prosperity is diminished and well, therefore that can explain part of it since the government introduced uh, tribunal fees to actually start a case the number of uh, cases being pursued for equal pay has actually gone down by uh, 90 percent so the, the law in theory uh, exists but it's in, in fact incredibly difficult to pursue the biggest difficulty is of course that m most uh, women are not able to find out what their pay uh, gaps are because um, the government actually removed the ability to even ask uh, for equal pay questionnaires so the biggest difficulty is actually the lack of transparency in pay so most people don't even know that they're earning less than their uh, male colleagues and when they do discover it um, it's finding out what the reason for it is and then being able to pursue a case so you have okay. a whole series of hurdles before you can get to uh, a successful settlement As part of our challenge is we have fewer women in them in the most senior positions so our real challenge is making sure that we're promoting women to the most senior positions and we're recruiting women into those positions um, if you take out the factor of uh, women uh, a lack of women in senior positions actually our pay gap is much much smaller um, but it's but it's still unacceptable so we really need to understand what's driving that and around it, it's recruiting generally more senior people when we recruit at senior levels uh, we tend to recruit men more than women